color. Is it the same for all of us? Are those visual experiences the same in people? Do we see the same as other species? Color comes in forms of visible wavelengths emitted from light. The pigments in each object or living being are responsible for absorbing most or some wavelengths while reflecting back the color that we perceive them to be. For instance, in order to see black, all of the wavelengths must be absorbed. In contrast, white objects reflect all of the wavelengths of the visible spectrum because it is a combination of all colors. We have photoreceptors in the retinas located in the back of our eyes that can detect the light and allow us to see different shades and brightness. And of course, we have photoreceptors that can differentiate colors from each other. Once light has entered our eyes, it will travel through several layers of our retina before it reaches the photoreceptors. When these photoreceptors are stimulated, they will transmit the information through a series of synapses between neurons in the retina and then travel straight to the brain which will determine what we are seeing. The watt cells are very sensitive and helps us see in dim light but no color. The cone cells allow us to see in very bright settings and differentiate colors from each other. Surely there isn't a special cone cell for every color out there, that would just be too much. Instead, there are three classes of cones in the human eye. In the 18th century, the red, blue, yellow model laid down the foundation of color theories to describe how painters mix colors and how we perceive color. However, the way we mix paint isn't the same way our eyes can mix wavelengths. In the 19th century, the young Helmholtz theory, or the trichromatic theory, proposed that we have cones that detect for red, blue, and green wavelengths. Stimulating a combination of these receptors will send signals to the brain and allow us to perceive color. For instance, if you were to look at this yellow here, your eyes will only be picking up a combination of red and green wavelengths. We humans see more or less the same colors. But how does it differ between different species? Dogs are a great example to demonstrate these differences. It has been an old myth that dogs can only see in black and white, but it turns out they can perceive color, just differently than we do. A series of color discrimination experiments led by Jay Nates from the University of California in 1989 concluded that dogs have dichromatic color vision. In other words, while normal humans have three types of cones, dogs only have two. Their cones are only able to pick up wavelengths that are around 429 nanometers and 555 nanometers, which corresponds to blue and yellow colors, respectively. Their vision is a lot similar to those that have red and green color blindness. They can't distinguish yellow, red, and green objects from each other. They may, however, distinguish them based on relative darkness or brightness of those colors. It comes to show that our visual experiences with colors differs from species to species. It all depends on the number of cone types each one has. Some species can have as many as four or five cone types. They can even detect light that can't be seen by the human eye. This is something worth thinking about next time something colorful comes your way.